Hello, good people. My name is Stein. I just thought I should uh, try to make a video. Um, and I want to make it my first video about lassos or lassos. Or I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Lasso in my language. Um, just an ordinary rope about uh, this thick. Uh, it's important that the rope cannot be twisted open because it needs to uh, stay just like this under the time you throw it. In the end I tied uh, a metal metal ring like that which the rope slides through. I've put tar on the rope because it makes it more stiff and uh, also it becomes more durable. I thought I should uh, show you how I throw this. First, before I start throwing, I have to hold the metal ring. I don't know if you see this. Yes, you do. The metal ring in my hand, my left hand, like that, so the rope runs freely over my hand. And then I have a loop like this. And then I start coiling the rope in uh, small loops inside the big one, like that. So make small loops. I usually make use of the whole rope, or at least almost the whole rope. And I twist the rope half a turn every time I lay on a new loop, so the loops stay nice and round shaped, like that. So now that I've um, coiled almost all the rope, I let go of the metal ring in the middle or in my left hand, and I just hold the end. And then I... Computer dice out on me. Let me see. Uh, tarp of my computer is falling down here. Well... Um, when I've done this, I am um, put lasso behind my back like that and throw it. Hope I hit it. No, no I didn't. I have to practice more. Perhaps I should have practiced a lot more before I made this video, but well, I'll try one more time. See how it goes. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps I should be embarrassed, but I'm not. This isn't. This isn't just very easy, uh, even though it's fun. Uh, but I still have to practice a lot, I can see. Especially when I'm in front of the camera. It shows my lack of experience. That's, if that was there, I would would probably have gotten one of its antlers. So, here we have it, lassoing. Thank you. Just want to thank Dave Kentbury, who's learned me a whole lot and inspired me to make this, and everyone else who sent in videos as well. Okay, goodbye.